time for the next installment of Build Along With Me, making your own do-it-yourself guitar kit. And today we're going to be filling the screw holes that are holding the pick guard in place. Because I don't like pick guard. I don't want to use the pick guard. But there are eight holes that need to be filled, and they're drilled quite deep. So what are we going to do? We're going to use toothpicks and some wood glue to fix it. So all you're going to do is break your toothpick in half, and you're going to take a little bit of your wood glue of choice, mine is type bond. And you're going to get that nice and glued up. And then you're just going to put the toothpick into the hole. You're going to wipe off the excess glue and let it set, and then just break off or sand off the rest of the toothpick. And just a side note, make sure not to uh, fill in the ground wire hole because that's very important and we need to keep that hole open. And there you have it. We've got all of our screw holes completely filled with the toothpicks. I'm going to break these off and then you just sand down the little nubbies left over from breaking the toothpicks off into the body. Here I'm using I believe a 150 grit sandpaper and it makes short, it makes really short work of sanding those nubbies down. Now you want to make sure that you're sanding with the grain because you don't want to be adding more scratches that you eventually are going to have to sand out. The great thing about this is it really opens the guitar body up for having a lot more creative space to work with. If you don't want to use a pick guard, this is a good way of filling those holes. That way it doesn't even look like there were holes to begin with. This is also a really great technique to have in your toolbox um, for if you misdrill something and it's just slightly off uh, measurement wise, or if you get another kit and your pre-drilled holes are off. This is a super easy fix. You don't have to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Just get yourself some toothpicks and some tight bond. And look at that. You can't even see where the toothpicks were. You can't see where the pre-drilled holes were. Well, that was super easy, wasn't it? So now we can decide on what we want to design our guitar body to look like. If we want to keep the shape, if we want to add some more sexy curves to it, if we want to put an image or anything artistic and creative on the body bef before we add the finish. So next time we're going to be going over different things that you could do with the body to change the shape, how you could change the shape, and if you want to put an image or a picture on your guitar before you use any kind of finish on it. Until next time, keep making some sawdust. Bye!